Hi my beautiful family and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to try some new products here. The first thing I have is new Kevin Crowns foundation. This is foundation balm. And then we have the Colourpop Your Orange Your Glad. And this is actually my sister, so I borrowed it from her to try it out to see if I like it. I'm right now on no buy because uh, I'm doing this box swap with my beautiful friend Valerie and I'm not going to buy any makeup before I get that package because I don't know what's in there. So I borrowed this from my sister and also borrowed the Colourpop Pressed Powder Cheek Blush. In blush, yes. And then this is mine, of course. I bought it and I just picked a shade. This is in light 4.5. I just pick a, picked a shade. I didn't know what which one I will choose. I just took one. So hopefully this is match my skin tone. Or if not, we can probably make it work. But if you're interested to find them out more about this foundation and the pro other product, then please keep on watching. I'm sorry, guys. I have, I mean, I have a, such a big cold. My throat hurts. I have fever. I feel like a disaster, and that is maybe why I look so tired and out of breath in this video. But let us continue and I will do my best. The foundation balm leaves skin looking visibly, visibly smoother, more even toned and in parts of a visually bare, brave and beautiful canvas. This multi-action innovative balm contains skin preparing ingredients that enhance the luster of natural skin. Apply the foundation balm with a foundation balm brush to in instantly even out complexion with a full coverage finish. So it sounds like a great product. When I got this, I kind of thought that they lot forgot to give me the brush, but the brush is in here, which is a little bit surprising. I thought it would be bigger brush, but probably can work. It feels dense, but also soft. And then we have the foundation here. This is, I haven't swatched it has a nice cap here and it looks like a bath. It kind of looks to be maybe good. Ooh, it feels a little bit wax, waxy, like a balm. Smells not like a balm, nothing special. But I think this will be good for me. I already, no I didn't. I moisturized my skin, I'm going to prime with my veil primer. I already primed my eyes and let's start applying this. Tarte Pore Filling Primer, you know me, I need that one always to fill in these big pores that I have going on. Okay, so let's start with the brush and see. Maybe I should zoom you in a little bit. I don't know how much I should take or anything, but I will take it a little bit on the brush and maybe Use it in a circle motion. Looks to be a very good color. I'm going to take a small layer. The brush is very soft. It dense, it's dense but very soft. And it goes on smoothly, but actually it's trying down to be a matte foundation. It doesn't look balmy. Did look that when I swatched it on my hand, but on the face, when I buff it in, I can't see it. I can't see it on my skin. Okay, so I can see it kind of getting into the, the or sticking into the dry patches here that I have going on for some reason. Uh, it feels very light. I mean, the shade looks very light, but it matches my neck, so I'll bronze it. Um, so first impression, I really like it. It feels like my skin, it looks like my skin it doesn't look like makeup, though it did do look like makeup here on my dry patches. So I don't know if this is suitable for dry skin, but maybe it is if you moisturize a lot. This is a thin layer and I'm going to try to build it up. I have like a beauty sponge here just in case. 
but I feel I don't want to do that. So I'm going to kind of try to build it up and we'll see how it looks. So. I wouldn't recommend the, bra uh, the sponge because it took off the foundation. So the brush is the way to go. I just built it up where I felt like I needed more coverage. It goes on very smoothly. It does look a little bit like it's, it sits on my nose a little bit funny and it did draw my dry patch here is enhanced. But I mean, everything else looks like my skin, actually like my skin. And I'm going to go in with the concealer just with my fingers. I'm going to use the Revolution one, number six, because this is very light shade on my eyes. And just going to blend it with my finger because I'm afraid to go with the sponge. But with the sponge, when I took the sponge to kind of try to get rid of the dry patch, oh my nails are long, on my nose, it took away the foundation. So the brush is way to go, and I don't like using brushes for my concealer for some reason. So I'm going to use my fingers, and I'm do going to do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be back to try the other products. So. So I did set this foundation with powder and it feels like it doesn't really like powder or I do need to maybe let it dry a little bit more before because it feels a little bit heavy. Not feels, but it looks a little bit heavy. I can't feel it on my skin though. And a little bit drying on some part. And while I was applying my bronzer, it kind of took off a little bit of the foundation on this pimple. So it's showing uh, a little bit on my forehead, but. I don't know, maybe it will look good when I set it with some setting spray. And I went overboard with the bronzer, which I like, uh, but I just don't like looking very pale. And I felt like this is this foundation is exactly my shade and that makes me look pale. I'm going to try this ColourPop Pressed Powder Cheek Blush. Um, this is the shade. And I, of course, I got it, borrowed it from my sister. This is orange. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, but let's go with it. Um, just a little. Don't go on board, overboard. Ooh, uh, uh, okay, that's okay. More than enough. It's not really blending. I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's the blush. It, uh, the foundation doesn't look good on my nose here. I'll definitely try it with some other powders, powders, um, what it's called, other primers, maybe more moisturizing primers. I'm going to do an update video with all the foundation that I've tried this month because the foundation can change your face better or worse depending on the primer you have. So some foundation don't go with all the primers and uh, this is more more like oil balmy texture, so maybe a moisturizing primer will work good. I don't know, but it's a nice. This is nice, nice blush. It kind of, yeah, it it did uh, blend beautifully. It was hard in the beginning, but it went on nice. Let's go and do a makeup look, and I'm just going to do a very fast, cute makeup look. I'm in a hurry, and I really want to try these shades. Think. Thank you, sis, for letting me try this. So cute. I'm not going to go into depth about these products. I also tried the this uh, Cinema Secret Makeup Brush Cleanser. It's the best. I was shocked. I just tried to clean some of the brushes and it is worth the hype. So he, if you haven't tried it, try it because it's the best. I'm going to take this Zest shade. A little bit above. I did uh, prime my eyes with Urban Decay and Anastasia primer. Yes, I mixed two primers. I mean, I, I like how this foundation looks from far, but it sits kind of funny on my nose, but everything else looks good. Sorry guys, my battery died, so I had to change it. So I went in with Zest and I'm going to go in with the Crime Sir Cream. Circle, circle, oh, I don't know, this shade here. I hate pronouncing some names because I can't pronounce them. 
and I'm taking that into my crease and a little bit above with the same brush. I love this brush. This is a wet and wild brush. Let's switch the brush and I'm going to go in with the Morphe and J. Clone Hill 3.3. And I want to take this rice and green, this one, this shade, orangey shade. And yes, I'm doing uh, the typical look that I always do when I try out a palette. It's nothing new, nothing special. Nothing that you haven't seen on my channel. And I want to dip up this with the darkest shade in this palette. And it's Yeah Peel Me. Yeah Peel Me. Cute name. Cute. I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to blend everything. The edges a little bit. I feel like they are harsh. And I'm going to take this clean brush and go in this darkest shade. Take it a little bit under my eyes. And I'm going to take this cream circle and just blend. It's so funny how this foundation looks good on some parts, on other parts it looks so drying. Okay, so we are almost done with this makeup look. I'm just going to take um, my fingers. I'm going to take my fingers and I really want to go into wait, squeeze me or this tang tangerite, I don't know, something, something. Um beautiful. But what do I feel? None of them actually. But let's go in with this one. Squeeze me. Oh, this is a beautiful shade. I wish there was a champagne shade here. I'm not going to use these glitters. They're beautiful, but they are so chunky. I really like this palette. Really think it's beautiful. They blend beautifully. They Everything works great. Let's take this lightest shade up here and just blend. Now, I actually want to go in with the... Anastasia and Amrezi highlighter, highlighter, and get it on my thing. Yes, it works beautifully with this. Palette. So guys, it's, uh, let me see, where is my phone? I just had it here. Yeah, here it is. I got some powder on it. 12.28 and I'm going to wear this the whole day. So I'm going to do some, make some lunch. I'm, I, the blush I really like and I really like the palette. I think they're beautiful. The, blah, 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 blah. the blush is also beautiful, but the foundation was nice until I went over with the powder. I don't know if I use wrong primer or wrong powder. I really don't know, but I definitely it looks cakey and heavy on my nose here. It looks dry and uneven on here. Looks very heavy and cakey on my chin. Um, but I don't know. This looks beautiful. So I, I, I'm kind of sad because I really thought. See, there, what did I do here? Part of something here. I thought that I would like it more than I do right now. Maybe I use it on use it on wrong way. I didn't watch any reviews or anything. 
kind of looks good far, far away. Uh, but maybe it will settle into my, maybe it will melt into my skin when my oil start to come through. This is a balmy texture. It's made in Italy. I don't know. I'm not sure about it, but we'll see. I'll wear it all day and uh, I'll be back to tell you what I think about it. So see you soon. So family, now it's 1941. I don't remember when I applied this makeup or maybe four seven hours ago i'm not really sure i can't remember but it's around seven hours and i really like the eyeshadows they kept are uh, pretty good i mean it's not greasy just a little bit but i really li like this palette really like the palette i wish it was mine and also the blush is beautiful the foundation though mm. okay it cracked yeah it doesn't want to work good with the concealer i don't know if you can see but it's it looks like fine lines where i had my fine lines when i was talking and laughing can you see how it's separated down here it looks so cakey look on my chin on my nose looks like a disaster look here it cracked A lot it's gone on my nose um, I don't know it's gone on my forehead I don't know how it's gone on my forehead it's gone here but there is some foundation there I didn't touch my forehead forehead <laughs> my forehead it looks very cakey here I, I don't know what to say it doesn't feel on the skin the foundation but my face is itching now and i don't know if, if it's the foundation or what it is i'll try it again and i'll do a review a review but i'm going to talk about this product in another video I, I want to try it a little bit more i want to try it with other primers i don't think this primer maybe works with this foundation i don't know it feels like that i'll try other primers just to see if it's the primer or is it the foundation and I'll try it without the primer and I'll research and see other reviews about this product I haven't seen it yet I mean it went on nice I like the brush I mean uh, I like the thought about the uh, of this foundation what it does to the skin but so far it didn't work on my skin I don't like it at all I know my sister said it looked beautiful earlier this day but after a couple of hours it just went down from yeah, it kept getting more messy and messy and it exaggerated my fine lines. I mean, I don't know, look how cracky and oh my God, disgusting my face looks. I'll take off this foundation because I can't see it anymore on my skin. Doesn't look good, doesn't look healthy. But I like the eyeshadow and I do like the blush. Um, I did return it to my sister, so that is why I don't have it here. But guys... Please let me know down below if you tried this foundation and what do you think about it. I'll definitely do, like I said, I, and I think I said it in every video where I reviewed a foundation lately, that I'm going to collect my thoughts in one video I talk about the foundations and products that I'll be using for a couple of weeks and months, just because I purchased a lot of products and I did a lot of re first impression reviews on my channel, but I do want to start like collecting my thoughts and try the products out more try to make them work or they didn't work or made them, I made them work. I just want to collect my thoughts and um, do like an update with you. So I'll definitely do that. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I love you all and see you in my next video. Bye.